Hey what's up everyone and welcome to another very boring tutorial without any value or anything you might learn. If you don't want to waste 5 minutes of your life I would highly recommend to leave the channel and don't subscribe. Today we are going to learn some really cool reverse speed ramping stuff to make your videos better. I personally use it all the time because it really adds some kind of a surreal vibe to the footage and sometimes you can match it to the music in a really cool way. So let's hop right into it. First of all you need the right audio and the right video. Not every tune is possible for this technique. There needs to be some kind of an impulse for the change in speed direction. So for example in this tune it's a repeating sound of the... I don't even know how to call that sound but I think you get it. Don't always look for the very obvious sounds in the tune. Sometimes there are kind of very quiet background samples which also helps to match the clip to the music. The audience later on will probably don't even notice these sounds but it still feels for them like it's matching to the rhythm, even if it's not the most present sound in the song. In terms of the visuals you need footage which has kind of a movement in it. It doesn't really matter if the movement is generated through the camera or through the subject which is in the frame. It's just important that there is an obvious contrasty movement in it to sell the technique. For example if you reverse a clip and it's not really noticeable that you just reverse it because there's no contrast between the speed directions it won't work that well. After you found the right audio and the right video you can just import both in the timeline of Premiere Pro. I would say most people reverse a clip by cutting the layer at the point of the clip they want to start the reverse, they copy it and put it right next to the first clip. Then they just right click, click on speed duration and check the reverse box. This is totally fine and for beginners probably the most easiest way to learn this technique. But there is a more effective way which is a bit harder to learn but it will give you way better results. In the beginning it might be really frustrating but if you master this technique it really will pay off. So I would highly recommend it to do it that way. But you don't have to. So just right click on the imported clip and click on show clip keyframes. Then go to time remapping and activate the speed keyframes. Now you are able to change the speed directly on the clip with keyframes. To set a keyframe just press command plus a left mouse key. Drag the speed line behind the keyframe a bit up to make it a bit faster or drag it down to make it a bit slower. Now the technique comes in. To reverse everything after the keyframe you just set it, you press and hold command while left clicking and also holding the left mouse key on the keyframe then drag it slowly to the right side. Now these arrows appear, which basically mean that everything after the keyframe is reversed. You can make this reverse section as long as you drag the second keyframe to the right. If you then just unhold the left mouse key, it ends and the reverse section plays forward again. To extend these reverse gaps or to make it shorter, you can press and hold option by clicking and holding the left mouse key then drag the gaps as long or as short you want. There is no rule or recipe to match it to the music in the right way. It all depends which feels most right for you. So trust your feeling and with time and practice you develop a good sense for something is matching or it's not matching. Sometimes you just know alright it feels like I need to extend it for one or two frames more. And that's it again so if you like this tutorial I would highly appreciate if you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any more recommendations for future tutorials just drop me a comment down below. I wish you a great year. See you next time. It's peace.